I've been asked some questions about the electronics on an acoustic guitar. So this is just a simple little preamp here uh, under the saddle transducer and we've got just a regular old jack right here and it kind of plugs into the back. Um, now, if you're having problems with uh, a pickup similar to this, um, the first place to try is normally replace the battery, see if that does it, or something's wrong with the jack. That is a probably about 80 to 90% of the time that solves your problem. Now, if, you're, if you've done that and you, you, you think something else might be wrong and you are scared it might be the pickup itself, it's real easy. Um, you may have to take your strings off your guitar or you could take the four little screws out around your preamp and pull it out. Um, in the case of this particular little guy, you could actually even open this up and just unplug it right here and never even have to take the strings off your guitar. Uh, I'm gonna do it from the back. Um, if you have a little, kind of like a white little plug or something with two little holes, you can shove some wires in there and do what I'm about to do. It's quite simple. If you have an amp that's turned on and you have your uh, cable right here, you just need to touch uh, negative to negative, positive to positive, or sleeve to sleeve, tip to tip, okay? And you can test it. Um, if you have someone with extra pair of hands around that could help you with this, uh, you can use some scrap wire to do it. Um, I do a lot of troubleshooting, so I made up this little gadget right here that allows me to do this right here, and then I can just clip this to whatever I need. So I'm gonna go negative to negative, or sleeve to sleeve, and positive to tip right here. Now, even without the preamp, uh, you're just running passive right now. So you can click on this, tap on it, okay? And you get some good sound out of it. Your pickup's good, okay? So you can rest assured that that's gonna be fine. Now, the next thing you can do is if your jack plugs in real easy and you can unplug it like this one you can simply take a multimeter and test the continuity from here to here to here um some of them have a little buzzy thing that just you know lets you um see if the circuit's good that's great uh you'll have three wires to this and as you can see on this particular one you have a tip a ring and a sleeve and um right here you have your three wires here now when you have your battery uh at your jack end you have three connections Okay, I'll show you on this one right here. I like this type of jack better than the little box style jack too. But uh, you would have, when your jack plugs in, uh, it's gonna touch here for your ground. Uh, this little piece right here, if you see this little piece right here, it's gonna touch uh, right here to the sleeve as well. And then the tip is gonna plug into this little piece right here, just like this. Okay, if you see that, that's touching here. This is touching the sleeve, along with this piece right here touching the sleeve. Now, those two pieces touching the same spot, that turns on your battery, okay? So, <clears throat> again, when you plug in right here, you got your hot, your battery, and your ground. So that's why when you unplug it, it's important to pl unplug your guitars, your pedals, all that stuff, because it acts as a switch to turn your battery on and off. So you're killing your battery if you leave it plugged in all the time. So again, you can bypass your jack if you think there might be a problem with the jack, which a lot of times it is. And if you think about it, that's where you're jerking on it, you're stepping on your cable, all sorts of stuff like that, and you're just giving that jack a lot of trouble. Um, so if you have a jack similar to this, you can replace it with a normal stereo switchcraft, something like this. Much better jack. And of course, you have your end pin jacks, like you find in like a Takamini style um, or switchcraft end pin jacks, you know, good stuff. But if you want to bypass your jack and just come straight to the connections, all you have to do is figure out which wire is which. In this particular one, the tip is white and the ground is over here, okay? The ground is the little shielded silver part right here. I'm gonna click to that. I'm gonna click my hot to my hot, okay? But now, it's not gonna work right off the bat, okay? Because, again, you have to complete the circuit. The battery's not on right now. So it's not gonna work until I just kinda wiggle this one over and touch where the red wire is. And you can hear it cutting on and off right there. So now I have essentially switched on my battery and I can tap on my pickup and it's working, okay? 
So that's bypassing the jack. Now, if you happen to have one of these guitars like this, okay, this is very popular now, battery box, XLR balance line out, and a high Z um, quarter inch line out, you will have a jack that looks just like this. It just goes into a little circuit board on the back that's connected to everything else. You may just try resoldering those joints. Sometimes those joints go bad from popping it in and out. Um, and that's something else to try, and that's another opportunity for you to bypass it. If you can touch those solder joints on the back and everything's good, but not when you plug in here, you probably got bad solder joints. Um, now another thing is these battery boxes. If you can unplug from your preamp side when you pull it out um, and test with a multimeter to make sure you're getting nine volts from your battery wherever it is located back to your preamp, that's another problem. Okay, uh, <clears throat> rarely, very rarely have I had a problem where it's actually something in the actual preamp itself, okay? About 90% of the time, 80 to 90%, it's the battery or the jack or some sort of connection with those, okay? Um, like I said, that's what takes the most abuse. You're pulling your battery in and out, you're yanking your jack in and out, um, and that's normally where the problem happens. Um, there can be other problems, um, and if you have problems uh, with anything like that, I can try and help you. Um, and of course, if you have K and K style pickup, something like that, uh, those can be troubleshooted as well. Um, just uh, something similar, but it's a little bit different technique. But uh, this will get most of your guitars out there that you may have problems with. All right.